document into a JPEG. So it's really, a, it's a little bit tricky to do and I use this feature a lot to post uh, photos to Facebook and um, also to put these um, photos on websites and something that really takes a couple steps to do and I just wanted to show you how to do it here. I'm going I'm going to use a picture um, that I made of a book that I'm having copyrighted right now. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do this one, but it's already done. <clears throat> okay, here's one that's in a word doc. Now, there's a trick to this too because from the word doc, you really have to make sure your letters are big enough on your page here, your picture. Um, I don't have that many sentences on this. So I've got them in um, Arial 72. Um, 22 would work as well. The problem is the lower the number you go, um, the tinier the words will be if you're using words and you won't be able to see them in the picture. So 22 is actually a good starting point. And um, I don't have that many on this page, so that's why I went with 72. That's what looked, that's what looked well and fit. Um, except for down here at 48. I'm just using this one as the easiest one I can work with to show you here. Um, unless I just create one. What I did is I went to uh, Microsoft Office Word, clicked on it, and I'm opening a new page here. And we can use Libri or Arial. I interchanged the both of them, so I'm going to go ahead and go up to 20. No, What we're going to do here, put a bunch of words on the page, which may not have words. You could actually take pictures and paste pictures on here too. You're going to come up here to the top, click on this, go to save as, 
And first, you have to turn the document into a PDF. And then click on PDF. I just keep it standard. Just see the PDF setting here. You're going to click Publish. This will turn it into a PDF. What you want to do then is we're going to make this small enough so that we can see everything that's on the page. You'll see that there's a little bit of gray under it and above it, which is what you're looking for. So this is at 42%. And we're going to go up to Edit and take a picture of it. I'll take a snapshot. Click on that. You just take your little cursor here, and I, I just always sit in the middle. And left click it. It just took a photo. Go into your, um, your start menu here. Click on paint. And then um, click Control V. And it'll, it'll bring it right into the key. Click Save. This is where you can save it as a data. You turn your Word document into a photo. The reason why I use this so much is because you cannot upload documents to Facebook. You can only upload photos. So this is why you would want to learn how to use this feature. Um, if you're advertising something, or you're creating a quote or, or something like that, um, you can only upload photos and videos to Facebook. You cannot upload documents. This is, this is why you would want to learn how to do this. <clears throat> Log into Facebook here. I'm also going to open up Pixlr because I want to make it a good size to put on the, the Facebook wall. I hope I'm not going too fast. Pixlr.com, it's P-I-X-L-R.com. It's free, you don't have to turn it on. So if you're in trouble of setting up an account with them, or you could do that. Click open image. The pixel size is 404 by 404 because it's so hard to remember. You can just use 400. Just resize it. Save. So put six into the words so that I know I've um, sized it. what I wrote on here, but I do know it doesn't make any sense. And there you go. Here's your word back. It doesn't even look like a word back. You turned it into a JPEG format you need to use to go to Facebook. And that's it for this